Hello and welcome to Sorting for Fun. Today we're going to be working on this Lala Loopsy puzzle. So it's going to be really, really fun. Now in this box, I have all the pieces. And what I like to do is dump all the pieces on my surface. And turn all the pieces up so that I can see the colors and the patterns and just to get familiar with all the different kinds of pieces that we have. So colorful and I see some faces and some dresses. So the second thing I like to do is find the edges of our pieces because I like to work on the frame first. Usually it's a rectangle or a square so we have to find all the pieces of the frame. So this is an edge and I'm just going to put it here. And this you could see is not an edge because it has little different holes and divots. So we're going to put this over here. And this one doesn't have an edge but it has a little face so we can get used to that. This one doesn't have an edge. No edge. An edge with a little piece of lace at the bottom, an edge. Oh, and this is a very important edge because it is also a corner. So like I said, usually puzzles are rectangles or squares, so there's four corners and we find one. So let's put this in a special place. This is an edge and an edge. Ooh, and another corner. See? One, two straight edges. Another corner. Perfect. And this one's extra special because it has type on it or letters. So that makes it easier to find the other pieces. This is an edge. And you know, you just find the pieces and you don't really know what it is, but you know, I see a flower and some green. This is an edge, but you don't really know what it is. Oh, a corner. Very important. Let's put them here with our corners. And our another edge. An extra piece. Oh, an edge. Very nice. Another edge, not an edge, edge, and an edge. But you know what? We didn't find the other corner. I think I missed it. So let's find it so that we can keep them all together. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to put these aside and I'm going to work on my frame of the puzzle. So I'm going to take my corners and I know this one is the top right because of the letters. That's how they go. And this one cannot be a top anymore, so it has to be a bottom right. This, a bottom left. Oh no, I'm sorry. This could be the top, see? We don't know. But usually the grass is green and it's on the bottom, and the sky is blue, it's on the top, so let's do that. So slowly we're going to look for our edges. Again, I like to spread everything out. And this looks like a sky, some grass and sky, some grass and sky, so this might be an edge on the side. Okay, so we have here a little piece of shoe right there, so we put them together. These ones don't go together, but if I see there's like a little creature there, and oh, there it is. These colors match. Do you see the pink matching? And then here I see two flowers, so I'm going to put those together. And I see, oh, there's the other one. Oh, look, it's feet. So now we have our bottom. And remember how I said that these pieces are extra special because they have letters, and you could see that they go together. And this one has like a little letter as well in this little corner. So I'm going to fit that in. Hmm. It's a little butterfly here. Do you see it? Let me see. Oh, there's a little butterfly there too. And I think this is the petal of the flower. So we're going to snap it in place. So now let's work on our sky. I can see a little corner there. A little edge with a little color red and I think that belongs to, yep, that letter right there. 
Then we have our corner and our flower. So I matched the flowers and the cloud. So now when we have the edges, we can see what size we are working with. So it makes it a little bit easier. So here we have the grassy, the sky and the grass. So the grass goes on the bottom and the sky at the top. And there we finished our frame. Isn't that nice? So now we bring the other pieces together. So let's put just a couple of pieces in here so that we don't get so many. Well, let's just put them around so we can see all of the colors and decide. So we see we have a face here with pink hair and I see the pink hair over here and we matched the flower, I mean the sun. It looks like a flower but it's the sun. So that was nice and over here I accidentally put these two together that go together. It's another Lala Loopsie doll. And then we see here it's a dress and she's missing her dress. So let's see, oh it fits. So now let me see, it looks like we're going to match this green pattern to this green pattern. Yes, it fits. And I see some hair and I see another Lala Loopsie. So let's move her over here. Oh, she fits perfectly. So now I want to finish my mouse because he, he's unhappy without his ear. Look at him. Let me see. This, no, but oh, it matches. The flower right here. Here's the mouse, the ear of the mouse. And our final piece, the pink with her hair and the green with the tree. Isn't that lovely? That is so beautiful. Wow, I'm so happy when I make puzzles because I love the end result. Look at all these, the little Lala Loopsie dolls the butterfly and the tree and you can see it so clearly. Well thank you so much for joining me today in my Sorting for Fun and remember to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the videos as I upload them. And thank you so much. Have a very good day and have fun sorting guys.